Yes, campers. I know um, this is like the most cliche thing for everybody to say they hate about Call of Duty, but really this is honestly like one of my top things that I hate about Call of Duty players. I, I just cannot stand campers. Like, I, I, I get it, like, sometimes you'll just be sitting in a room and, uh, you, you know, you'll just be sitting there for, like, a couple, maybe, maybe, like, 30 seconds or so or something like that. But then, like, some people, they will literally sit in a game for the whole match camping. That's all they'll do. And it's f so fucking annoying. I cannot stand it. And then these are the types of kids who are calling in all the score streaks getting all the kill streaks if you're playing an older Call of Duty, and they're just demolishing everybody because they're the ones just sitting there camping. Obviously, it just depends on what game mode you're playing, but really, it's one of the most annoying things about fucking Call of Duty ever. The next one we have here is Free For All Trick Shotters. And the only big thing I have with Free For All Trick Shotters is they get pissed off if you kill last. Like, I always remember playing uh, Black Ops 2 and uh, sometimes BO3 and I remember happening on Advanced Warfare almost all of the more older CODs I remember it happening so much they they always get pissed off so much if you kill last and they expect everybody to be a fucking sniper not everybody in Call of Duty is going to be a one be sniper and a wanna be quick scoper trick shot cool guy MLG pro not every single person in the game is going to play the same and when people start realizing that, and trick shotters in general, then that's going to be cool. But um, I've noticed lately that more free for alls are more red gunners and uh, stuff like that, so I think that's pretty cool. But uh, that doesn't mean that I want to cancel out snipers completely. I think sniping is really cool, but some people just need to understand that, that not everybody wants to hit clips, not everybody wants to trick shot, and not everybody wants to just snipe in general, you know? And that's what I have with fucking free-for-all trick shotters. And the third one here is fucking MLG wannabes. This has been one of the biggest issues I've had with people on Call of Duty since I've started playing. They always have some generic ass name that's like uh, something made up but it's like supposed to sound cool or something. I don't even know how to explain it. But like you know you'll get in those kids with the you're getting those games with those kids with like names where you're like what the fuck even is that? What is that? And uh like I just cannot stand them. And then like they'll be in the game and they'll be sweating so hard to the point where they're acting like they're playing in a fucking MLG tournament. I cannot stand it. You know, I, I like to try hard too sometimes. I like to do good in the game too, but there's a certain point to where you just got to fucking chill out for a second. <laughs> you know, like Obviously the point of the game is to win, but if you're playing to the if you're playing so hard to the point where other people can't even have fun, then it's fucking ridiculous. And that's what I have with MLG wannabes. I've been wanting to make a video about them solely for a very long time, but I figured I'd just add them into this video. And here's the fourth one. Fucking modders. I'm not talking about the good modders where like you'll they'll make game modes or they'll do something to make the characters look funny. That shit's okay with me. That's innocent. I don't care about that. Like, if anything, that makes the game a little better because it gives you more options and things to play. I'm talking about the bad modders, the people who run around with fucking god mode, unlimited ammo, and the fucking default weapon. You know, like, it'll be the finger gun or whatever. And this happens more on, like, older Call of Duties, but I cannot fucking stand it. Like, why can't I go back and play some of my favorite Call of Duties without running into these fucking people? I swear, I play for, like, an hour or two. Or, you, you know, in that two hours, I'll see maybe, like, three or four fucking modders, depending on what game mode I play, and then depending on what game I play. Obviously, some games are more uh, heavily modded than um, others. Like, for instance, World at War is way more heavily modded than BO1 and uh, MW2 and, like, shit like that. And COD4, COD4 is not as badly modded, but I'd say if, like, you go and search and destroy, that shit's gonna be modded like crazy. Um... But, you know, like, it's just so ridiculous. Why can't I play my old favorite COD games without dealing with these people? Like, seriously, what's the satisfaction you get from running around being an asshole, putting on God mode, and just killing everybody? We're not looking at you as if you're some good player and you're some, like, amazing, awesome, fucking skillful, like, pro. I don't get it. Like... We're looking at you like you're an asshole. We just want you to fucking stop. And then if these kids get the host 
oh my gosh, they fucking wreck the game. They literally demolish the game because they can do whatever they want depending on what mod menu they have. And most people that do this, they're not even like doing it themselves. They don't even have a JTAG. They just get it from other people who are doing infections. And that's how they do it. And it's just ridiculous. And it's been pissing me off for years now. And anyways, guys, this is it for fucking modders. And for number one, we have trashy teammates. Um, this list is not in order at all of like how much stuff annoys me. But honestly, this is probably up in the top three for me. Um, I, I swear, I hate playing like game modes like team deathmatch, domination, anything that requires a team to play. Because every time I fucking play and do good and I'm like doing the best of my team, my team decides to be ass. I always get put on the ass teams that do shit. And I cannot fucking stand it. I'm so sick of trying to play the game and be serious and, you know, just have fun and uh, do good at the same time. But I can't when I have teammates who go 0 and 20, fucking uh, 19 and 50. You know, like, there's always people doing that. And I always feel like telling them to just go play free for all. Like, why play Team Deathmatch or any other game mode that requires a team based skill level to, like, play? When you're just bringing everybody else down. Why not just play free-for-all? And that's why I play free-for-all. I play free-for-all because most of the time, if I don't have anybody to play with and I'm playing by myself, I will just sit there and do free-for-all. Like, if I have nobody to play with and I go into Team Deathmatch, Domination, or any other game mode, I just do ass because my team's ass. And it pisses me off and it makes me want to leave. And I ended up just leaving anyway. It always happens to me. And I just can't stand it. So anyways, guys, this has been my top five things I hate about Call of Duty players. And really, like, this is what I've been feeling like for the past couple of years. Like, I've been really wanting to make a video on it. It's been on my chest for a very long time. And I'm actually really glad I got it out. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, if you want me to do any different type of top five, just comment down below. And uh, who knows, maybe your idea will be something I do in the future. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.